All right, so two of these trees need to go. Dad's trying out his new 440 Husqvarna. I don't think it has as much power as he's used to with the 455. But that's all is currently out of commission and he plans on fixing it. And that branch that fells while you back up when you're dropping trees. Size tree cut up, two piles. There it goes. Yeah, that was a pretty good smash. I don't feel like much riding so, or walking, so I'm kind of riding on the pallet forks. So today we are going to take down the corn tree next to the barn and uh, we've been procrastinating about too long. We want to do it before it gets green and before it gets hot and we can't wear uh, it's protective of clothing and without sweating to death. So uh, we're going to use the excavator and just chunk it up. So dad is cutting the notch right now. But it is so hairy that it's not worth even keeping this wood. It would take so much effort to get those thorns off. This stump is in half, so half goes over the barn, half is easily gonna go that direction. Absolutely airy. So this is what we're uh, resorting to, is just chunking it up and uh, putting it in a pile. Yeah. This is going to be pretty iffy. It's too top guy, it might just break and we're crashing down. Just feather it at the end and I'll try to pull it. That worked just about right. <laughs> yeah, that, that worked nice. That actually went better than I thought. Yeah, that did go better than I thought. We are uh, did some moving some stuff today. That is going to include tires and a lot of rocks. So I dug all of these huge semi tires out of the uh, ravine area, which I'll show you shortly. But they're very heavy, so we actually just uh, picked them up with the excavator and then we put them in the bucket of the backhoe and then dad would move them over here and they were all around this pile all sitting there and we continue to work on this area again to get to that tree which is starting to get pretty clear i've been working on this area for already a few months now but now that i have dad's help with the backhoe and we have the excavator here we are going to do two things, which are moving a lot of these rocks to places we can use them because they're kind of pretty. And then I am going to move some of this dirt more over there. Um, that way there's more of a straight edge to dump stuff off.
I don't know how much these weigh, but they're pretty big. And uh, I can feel it in the excavator even when I'm turning. It wants to shift the weight, so they're decently heavy. The only unfortunate thing is that they're gonna have some spots and marks from where I'm scraping them, but I think there's not probably a way around that. I don't have the claw attachment, it's just the bucket. But pretty much, we get these, uh, get these rocks out of the way, then I can start taking down that tree and start backfilling that ravine with some of all this. She's an old broad, but she is definitely helpful. Such a tough machine, man. It's ridiculous. I feel like the Orange Coyote tractor is uh, missing out on all the fun, but there's only two people to three machines here. It wouldn't be a proper day at the property without burning fire. Well done.